what are you working on? I'm doing some research in performance tuning in Oracle and SQL. Mm -hmm. I'm actually kind of stuck. Uh, why don't you take a look at the YouTube video of that? That's a good video. Hello, hi friends. Today I am going to discuss a topic on Oracle Database Performance Tuning. In this Performance Tuning Basics, no matter what version of Oracle you are using, the basics of the Performance Tuning remains the same. Problems can be stemmed from a variety of causes and as the database administrator, your job is to figure out what they are. For example, poorly designed applications and database schemas can cause issues like excessive CPU consumption due to many logical input and outputs. Coming to the next one, how we are starting the Performance Tuning. Tuning a database is a time-intensive repetitive task. Over time, the database changes in many ways and must be evaluated. First step involved in determining database performance. Any upgrades in the system may cause performance issues. In addition to these changes made to improve the performance will need to be re-evaluated. This series identifies a standard approach for performing the database evaluation. Next, what we have to consider in the performance tuning? Indexes, large parameters, full table scan, connectivity. Coming to indexes, Oracle offers wealth of index structure, each with their own benefits and drawbacks. The block size will have excessive effects on structure of index tree. Last parameters. Whenever the index contention is experienced, adjusting these parameters may be helpful. Increasing the number of latches available to your database can also reduce their latch contention. Full table scan. Full table scan have been be blamed for poor query and database performance in the past. But utility and performance have improved with each successive version of Oracle database. Connectivity. When a process is on the same machine as a server, use the IPC protocol for connectivity instead of TCP. If your database is distributed across a few servers and you need to access the database across these servers, one way to improve the performance is through the use of database links. So this is all about the Oracle database performance tuning. Thank you. Hi, this is Yashwan and today we are going to know about SQL tuning. What is SQL tuning? SQL tuning is a process of ensuring that SQL statement that an application issue will run as fast as possible. Just like there may be 10 different ways for you to drive from your work to home. Normally, you are in a hurry to get to your home. You choose the fastest way. Similarly, tuning your SQL statements will give you a best answer for your question in the fastest time. Getting started, these are the step-by-step -step procedure for the SQL tuning. Tune the code or database for better performance. Once you have problem queries in hand, you can start the tuning process. The two steps involved are look for SQL rewrite possibilities, look for object-based solutions. Know the database and understand it completely. Try for different combinations. When the SQL is valid, your objects are in order and you have eliminated noticeable flaws, it's now time to begin trying new code combinations in hope of improving your query's performance. Revisit when necessary. Your fast code becomes slow in these circumstances. Data volume changes and missing indexes. Data volume changes. Code that ran well with objects having small data volumes may turn slow with large volumes of data. Missing indexes might be cri critical to your query success. Index rebuilds. Rebuild the missing index to achieve consistency and quick performance. Finding the poorly running SQL. After finding the poorly running SQL, you need to tune SQL with following problems. Suboptimal index access to a table, suboptimal join methods. This is all about the SQL tuning. That's it. Thank you. Hi, I am Vikram. Today we will know about the SQL performance tuning using indexes. So what does this index mean? Index are just like the contents in a textbook. Index are one of the best way to improve the performance in a database application. Without an index, SQL Server works like a reader who is trying to find a particular word in the textbook by examining each page. Now the most important job for the database is to find the best index. So the first one is the useful index queries. Index helps when you are processing for a specific record or a set of records with a where clause. So for example, let us consider the query employee, where employee number, employee name, employee salary are the columns of this particular query table. So let us consider the query delete from employee where employee salary equal to 30,000. Here the employee salary of this particular column has been selected and this particular row will be deleted. Index entries are always stored in a sorted order. So it also helps when you are processing the order by call clause. So let us consider the query, select star from employee order by employee salary. Here by considering the employee salary of this particular column, the employee table will be sorted in an increasing order. What are the advantages of using these indexes? 
So the first one is the using of short keys. Having short keys is beneficial. Since the index entries are always involved in comparisons, smaller entries are easier to compare. A single integer column makes the absolute best index. So the second advantage is using the distinct keys. An index with high percentage of unique values is a selective index. Obviously, an unique index is highly selective since there are no duplicate entries. Many databases will track statistics about each index so they know how selective each index is. So this is what about the SQL performance tuning using indexes. Thank you. Hi everyone, I am Pawan. Now I am going to discuss about performance tuning in Oracle 10th and Oracle 11th. Who know that SQL tuning is one of the most challenging and time consuming database management tasks for database administrator. This is because this requires an extensive breadth of knowledge for database administrator. So how this tuning is happening in Oracle 10th and 11th. Though performance tuning is happening in 10th, the main disadvantage is, is lack of automation framework. In Oracle 10th, database administrator involvement is more. So in order to simplify this process, Oracle 11th introduced one concept that is self-tuning advisor. This self-tuning advisor is responsible for tuning in Oracle 11G without much intervention of database administrator. Thank you. Okay. Alright, so was the video helpful? Yeah, it was very informative. Thank you. Yeah, I would help you.